Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna deploy my Next.js app to Azure App Service as a Docker container. First of all, we have to create a container registry service. Go to container registries. Create container registry. We can create new resource group. I can name it Next.js app. We can uh, give a name to registry. So I can say, yeah, can use this one, my Next.js app. It's not available. Sample Next.js app. We can use the location. We can use North Europe. We can use plan basic. So our container registry is created now. We go to access keys and we can enable admin user we need this information to log into this container registry from our github repo so we can push our image to this registry next we can add this information to our github repository so if we go to our repository we can add some secrets action add new secret so we can add azure container just username uh, we can copy this one here we can add a new one password can copy this password here and one more from here it's login server so can call it ACR endpoint paste so we have added our secrets next we have to create uh, our YAML file, a GitHub action file. So I have already created one. So it will run on every push to our main branch. Then it will use main branch. And here we will log into our Azure Container Registry by using these credentials which we have created on our github repository then we will use this action to build and push to our docker image to the our can container azure container registry so here if you see for this app we need some environment variable uh, at build time so we must uh, add build orgs here so i have already added this one so we need to add uh, in these environment variables in secrets so we can copy 
this wrong. Secrets. And we can copy our next one here. Access access dot com. So so now we are ready to build and push our image using this GitHub Actions and push push it to our azure container registry which we have created here so if let's see uh, we have to add our environment variables here also so we can define org and I can copy this one. And then we we'll define our environment variables. So we can use this one. And it will be space ID next one. Access token. So I think we are ready to go just to check here we can give a tag to our app so i have already given a tag so it will be the tag of our image at our azure container registry so if i push First, I have to add, then commit. And then push. So if we go to our actions, so have a workflow running here. will run our docker file so So we have successfully built our image and pushed it to our container history. So if we go to our repositories, here we have our image. So we can use this image to deploy on our app service. So if we go to app services and create a new resource, we can use this one. We can give a name to our app and select 
Docker container here. Can select North Europe, and we can change the voice blend to basic free variant. So everything okay. We hit the review and create button. App service is being deployed, so we have to wait a little bit. We have successfully created our resource. So if we go to the resource, we have got this URL. So if we go to the URL, it will take some time. So there is currently nothing. So we have to go to the deployment center. Here we can, we have a container registry. Uh, so we can choose our resource Azure container registry. We want to use admin credentials, then we can select the registry, select the image, can tag, we can turn on the continuous deployment. So we hit save. Nothing happened. We can go to the deployment center and we can hit the logs. So it's still in process. So it's not finished yet. So we have to wait some time. So if you see container name of the container for site initialized successfully and is ready to serve requests. If we go to our URL and we refresh our page. Yes, our app is up and running on Azure App Service. So that was it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this video. Thank you very much.